Welcome to our next little video for those inquiring about baptism. I wanted to talk to you about sponsors, or maybe you know the term godparents. Now, the requirements for a person to be a sponsor is that they must themselves be baptized and they should be worshippers in the Christian community. Now, there's a reason for that. If you think of the church as a little bit like a club or a society, often you'll, if you're applying for membership, you'll be sponsored in. There'll be a person whose responsibility it is to say, I will look after this person within the context of our club and help them understand their role. That's basically the same responsibility that sponsors to take in a baptism. They are undertaking to be, as an experienced, wise member of this family, the church, uh, they will help this person that they are sponsoring grow up to know and understand what it means to be a Christian. Now, if they themselves, for whatever reason, are not a member of the church, they can't help the person grow up and understand what it means to be a part of it. And if they're not actively participating in the life of the church, if they are not taking seriously their own Christian journey, there's no helpful way that they can model to a person who's being baptized what it means to continue on their Christian journey to becoming more like Christ. So as parents, when we're thinking about those people who are going to be sponsors for our children, we have to think of who is the person who's going to be engaged in their life, is going to model for them what it means to be a Christian in worship and practical daily life experiences. Who's going to do a good job? So please, when you're considering sponsors, please think very carefully and deeply about who might be the right sponsors, those who will do the right job. I hope that helps.